Now, let's get on to the main card here, and it is a very interesting card. We start with Hawes against Ferreira, and I know that, uh, Matty, I believe you've got a play on this one. Phil Hawes right now, a small dog you're seeing here at plus five. The comeback in Bruno is minus $1.35. Matty, what do you, how do you break down this fight? Yeah, man, I... The more this week has progressed, the more I've loved. I just love betting Phil Hall's here. It's mm. going to be scary. It's going to be sweaty. Every second of the fight, you're just nervous that he's going to get chinned. But he's just better everywhere. I really think he's better everywhere. I think the guys he's been finished by in Chris Curtis, Roman Lead, say, uh, who was the most recent one, um, Ikram Oskarov. I just think those guys would would put out Bruno Ferreira. So that's the way I look at this fight. I'm getting plus money on the dog, more experienced, more well-rounded. And again, the one challenge and the one scary part is the chin, but I got to take him on the money line here. I think he has a path with some wrestling. I think Bruno's striking defense is subpar. I've watched a lot of footage on him the past couple of days. Um, and I just think that he's very hittable, even in the RoboCop fight, which I still cannot believe he won that fight. Like, he yeah. just caught Robocop with a nasty hook. Um, but, like, I think if Gregor Rodriguez fights him 10 times, I think Robocop wins eight or nine, like, legitimately. Mm -hmm. Especially the, the, reg, the Robocop today, I think, has improved a lot. But long story short, give me the plus money on the dog here. I think he's the better overall fighter. Um, definitely going to have to sweat it out. i um, hoping Phil Hoss can just get him out of there early because every second that fight goes on, you just have to worry he's going to get caught with, like, a left hook or, or a hook of some sort. No official play for me, but Kyle, I think you kind of have two-way action on this one here uh, mm. on both sides, correct? Yeah, a little two-way action. I mean, we know we like the three-way action, but we'll we'll go with the two-way action here. And now look, everything, <laughs> <laughs> everything, Matt, it's a new year, you know? We got to come out firing, boys. So You guys have some crazy plus money to start the year. Uh -huh. That's right. Well, yeah, because I know you're going to get one of these weird oh, yeah. knockout things, you know, where it's like, and they bring in a one arm fighter and you say he's going to knock him out with the nub of his shoulder and he does or something, you know, so I'm just I'm just trying to prepare for the future here. So everything Maddie said is right. Like the whole first round, I'm going to be sweating it. But look, what we have here is Phil Haas, who I just backing Phil Haas. I have gotten so ruined by Phil Haas. Like talk about a guy that's not there to be hit. It's Phil Haas. He's not there to be hit. He's either getting knocked out in the first round or he's knocking the guy out in the first round. And it's kind of the same here with Bruno. So both these guys know, look, we can either get finished or we're going to finish early. So I think you see them start out a little timid. It's that stay away from each other's power. I'm going to be lemon booty the whole time. I'm going to say this gets to the second round because they're a little tentative at first. This is kind of the Maddie Betts thing here, right? Like I'm taking the obvious first th round thing out of it. Let's get to round two. This is where things open up, and one of the one of them is going to knock each other out. So I'm going to do a half unit on Haas by knockout in a round two at plus 850, or a half a unit on Bruno by knockout in the second round at plus 650. I don't think this hits the third round. Scary first round for me. I'm going to be watching closely. I'm going to be screaming, holding my head, swearing, doing God knows what. But I think they squeak into round two, and that's where the knockout happens. I don't see it going to the third round. And either way, it's it, if I get a second round knockout, I'm going up either four and a quarter or three and a quarter. So I'll take it. The, yeah, and Kyle, like, the, yeah. those odds. Okay, you have the round. You have the round two KOs, not the in round props, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I like those so, I plays. Mean, I really do because I, I think both guys coming off of a devastating knockout loss, you know, mm -hmm. and I think maybe Hall's, maybe Phil gets a takedown in the first round too, right? And then we get right. to that second round. So I like those plays. Good plus money. Yeah, you guys uh, both have plus money here. So again, Kyle is going to go with that. Big time plus money. Just somebody get knocked out in round two and right. Kyle's cash <laughs> tickets here, either plus 850 mm -hmm. or plus 650 there. And uh, Maddie's going to go with Phil here. Uh, and the skill set overall uh, just should be more superior to Bruno. So you're going to play that at plus $1.05 uh, to open up that main card.